We are back at it again here with another video with the invest for tomorrow to the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel to all subscribers. Welcome back. Here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, continuing to fight to hold itself up above the 426, 427 area and hitting highs today at around the 430 area. Now in today's volatility, our SPY bot at 1.30 p.m. sent out a bear indicator and from that moment forward, Outflows cross the midpoint to the downside, pure weakness there on 42 vision, and put options went up 100% plus within an hour, guys. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots, and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction, whether stocks are going up or going down. So here we are with the SPY doing a full transition so far from bright green to red bars. And if this continues lower into weakness, the last piece missing is white with red borders for a full transition on 42 vision. And we're going to break it all down the key levels I would watch going into tomorrow and what the inflow versus outflow is showing and bull and bear indicators. But before we do, I want to share with you guys the home run opportunity that was mentioned this morning over at the Discord. So the home run day was spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on and receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together. So the home run of the day was from our IWM bot. Our IWM bot sent out a bear indicator at 9.35 a.m. And from that moment forward, outflows crossed the midpoint to the downside, pure weakness there on 42 vision, and put options went up 400% plus within an hour guys and as you see they're popping up within the screen within the options chain some options even went higher than that if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots we look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day Let's jump to these charts. So here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, doing a full transition from red bars to bright green bars, and now doing a full transition today from bright green bars to red bars. And if this is your first time coming across the channel, this is 42 vision, which allows us to see the dips from the rips, the rips to the dips, and where the strength and weakness lies within the charts. And we also use our bull and bear indicators and inflow versus outflow as an extra layer of confirmation which i'm going to pull up here and you can now gain access to as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down and in today's video, I'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator, which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility. So here we are with the SPY under a bear indicator here in the second half of the day at around the 428.40 area. And this is the first bear indicator that pops up since the last bull indicator from down here at around the 418.20 area. And this is the first time that outflows cross over after those inflows started to dominate in the last two trading days and today a bear indicator has popped up for the first time canceling out that bull indicator after reaching highs up here of 430 right nearly reaching that level by that 429 430 area critical level to not ignore of resistance and now a bear indicator has popped up and outflows have crossed over guys this is going to be crucial and critical going into tomorrow I'll be watching if these inflows can go ahead and pick back up. Try to form a support here at that 426.30 area. Seems like it tried to double bottom there. 
and it's fighting to stay above 427 as we speak in this live video. This is critical and crucial for these inflows to pick up to justify any further strength to the upside or any reversal potential, right? So we're going to talk about the key levels I would watch going into tomorrow. And the first thing is zooming out and looking at this from the one hour, right? On the one hour chart, this bull indicator from down here around the 41820 area is still in effect. The staircase effect is still there. And right now, we need to talk about what's going on with the outflows as they're approaching for the first time on the one hour chart to almost cross over. It has not closed and confirmed yet. It has 15 more minutes to go for this one hour chart to go ahead and close and confirm this bar and that these outflows either sit sideways or officially cross over to the downside. And if they do, that weakness could start to reflect pretty quickly into these charts. I would not ignore that. I would be watching that very carefully going into tomorrow and the possibility of this bull indicator getting canceled with a possible bear indicator in the process if this crossover happens and starts to reflect pretty quickly into these charts. Now, when we zoom into the 15 minute, we'll see a little bit more of the volatility of what's happened, right? Outflows crossed on the 30 minute bear indicator and same thing here on the 15 minute a full transition from bright green bars to white with red borders to the dip area from the rip area and right now it's trying to bring itself back up so far at red with green borders but under a bear indicator since up here at around the 429 11 area and outflows crossed over now inflows are trying to pick back up and this is going to be critical and crucial if these inflows can continue and cross back over and i'll be watching if that could start to reflect into these charts and roll over into the 30 minute to start bringing up those inflows towards the midpoint as well and changing them from red to green that is something to not ignore now i'm going to share with you guys the key levels i would watch and the first thing is support guys the first level of support that i'll be watching is down here at that double bottom low here of 426 40 area 426 50 if you want to round that up that's going to be crucial and critical if these outflows continue here on the 30 minute and continue here on the 15 minute right but as we see here in the live action as i'm doing this video if you want to go back when i was explaining the 15 minute chart this actually started to show strength of trying to reverse and it went ahead and went from red to green in the live action that inflows are trying to pick up. But if they were to pull back down and stay below the midpoint and start reflecting that weakness into these charts even quicker, that first support is that 426.50 area. And then below that would be the 425 area. And below 425 is the 423.50 area. Those are the critical levels I'll be watching to the downside if these outflows continue and these bear indicators continue to dominate now to the upside it's going to be crucial and critical for these inflows to continue going from red to green and pushing up towards the midpoint and if it could cross it it could possibly start to reflect that strength pretty quickly into these charts eventually cancel out this bear indicator with a possible bore indicator and roll over this strength into the 30 minute to start pulling up these inflows from red to green here on the 30 minute towards the midpoint guys and the first resistance would be 429 area just a little bit above where the bear indicator popped up around the 428 45 area 429 will be crucial and critical that's where things started to fall pretty quickly here and sharp in the second half of the day and then above that comes the 430 area so that's a tight range there of the recent highs that we've seen in this bull run so far on the spy and in the last three days from down here to around 418 and in the last two weeks from way down here at around 411.63 right so 429 430 area crucial and critical if that gets broken through and it starts that staircase effect the next resistance level i'll be watching is 433 guys and i'll be watching if these inflows can cross over start pulling up the one hour with it towards back above the midpoint and staying above it and switching from red to green holding true this bull indicator from down here at around 418 20 area and having this bear indicator on the 30 minute 
eventually getting canceled with a possible bull indicator in the process of reflecting that strength into these charts and getting these inflows to cross back over the midpoint and back above going from red to green with full strength and retesting those key resistance levels so these are the key levels i'll be watching to the upside and to the downside the bull and bear indicators are going to be critical and crucial and i'm going to be watching very carefully the inflow versus outflow going into tomorrow as the one hour is right there near the midpoint and about to cross it and confirm in the next six minutes on the inflow versus outflow of the one hour chart the one hour chart is pointing downwards the 30 minute is leveled off and on the 15 minute it is trying to come back up switching from red to green trying to head towards the midpoint and trying to reflect that strength so far here bouncing from the 426.40 area to high so far of 427.70 in these charts and live action so that's going to be crucial and critical going into tomorrow and as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money